Taking a favorable early game engagement where I end up killing a leader and losing a leader but killed all of Red's army at the beginning of the game. To our teammate just having one base that's in complete shambles where he doesn't have pretty much anything at its base whatsoever. To then going back and forth to try and defend our teammates so they can go ahead and reestablish a second base and a good economy. To then having my own base in shambles and the enemy attacking in all directions. These are some of the things that showed up. Let's see how it all plays out from the very beginning. So we start off with a simple game. I am playing as Cutter and we're going to go ahead and start off with a basic early game build. We have two Decimus on our team and we're going against nothing but UNSC against the opponent. And so I'm building that extra Marine to go ahead and get those extra supplies and sending the other two to go grab those supplies that you end up seeing on the map. And so after that ended up happening, I actually ended up getting an engagement with Red. He actually was able to get the shot first, and so I decided to fall back just a little bit, make that gen, and then go ahead and re-engage with Red. So there is this micro thing that I saw going on where you can actually win a battle with your Marine by microing them left and right to try and dodge the projectiles that those Marines are firing with. And so that's exactly what I am attempting on doing, trying to dodge those fires and trying to kill that Marine before my Marine gets taken out as well. And with all that migraine, I was just able to get that gen upgraded right on time. And I'm going to go ahead and start working on that mini base. And so this engagement is getting very, very close, but it does look like I am taking a small lead. Nevertheless, mini base gets built and it does look like that Marine is going to get taken care of, which means, hey, we're going to get a little bit of that extra power. And speaking of which, there's a red Marine at the bottom, which usually means after that, they're going to try and scout me. So... I end up losing my other marine, which is quite sad, but it is what it is. And so speaking of which, that marine has now shown up to try and scout. I want to try and counter that to the best of my ability with some flamethrowers and some marines. And we are able to take out that marine eventually, but unfortunately was able to get a full scout on my main base, but was not able to see my mini, which is pretty good. And I was able to get a scout myself, and they have shown barracks and armory. So they're looking to go very aggressive in the early game. And speaking of aggressive in the early game, we're going to have a little early engagement. Spartan Slam is going to go down with some mines. But unfortunately, those mines didn't really execute on where it needed it to be. And so those those mines were just not able to be as effective as we wanted it to be. But now we're going to try and see if we can get round two. Red's looking for a fight. I'm looking for a fight myself. Serena with her little frost stuff is getting in our way with the freeze. And we are clumped up pretty well where their hero is getting good splash damage. And so we were able to take a little bit of a favorable engagement. But we're going to end up retreating once again and so now we're going to start working towards the next phase which is we want to try and establish a second base i do feel like my army is better than the opponent's army and so we're going to see how that turns out blue unfortunately lost his whole army by committing an attack with blue and now light blue's job is to try and defend that side to the best of their ability i'm going to go ahead and micro my units just a little bit to get that correct army placement and here we go red is showing up once again he does have some snipers in the back trying to use the snipers to deal as much damage as possible to my infantry spartan slam goes down to go ahead and hit the leader and now we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this engagement to be a lot more favorable and here it is we're doing some great damage against the enemy but those grenades were not able to take out the snipers at the top which is very unfortunate our spartan is trying to retreat and they are focusing down on my leader and it doesn't look like the leader is going to get taken out by me and I'm going to take out their leader as well. But the plus side is, is that we were able to take out all of Red's army all together. And now we're going to see if there's a second base being established. Put down fallback mines. And looks like Red is a pretty smart player because they ended up self-destructing that base. So then that way they don't get lost resources for it. So, so producing the infantry that I need in order to keep up this early game pressure. And now we have found a barracks up by yellow and we want to go ahead and try and just take that out to the best of our ability so we do have some sniper set up posturing but it does look like orange and yellow were able to take out blue's expansion base and light blue if you look at the mini map kind of lost everything associated with their army so that is a little bit unfortunate now it's going to be my job to try and get to tech two and deal even more pressure on my lane to help relieve my teammates side a little bit more and so 
Second base has now been established. We're going to keep making some supply pads. Spartan is back out. And now we're just going to wait for our opportunity over here to see if we can do some damage. We're going to send a Marine out to that second, to that main base of red, just to see what they have so we can go ahead and see if it's worth engaging or not. And there's definitely different moves I could have made here. This is one move that I feel like I definitely could have made a better decision upon in regards to using my infantry better. So it does look like the base is locked and they do have some defenses set up for their turrets. And so I'm going to just take another small engagement over here to go ahead and take out that marine and try and recapture that node. Red is starting to rebuild that base. And here comes a cleansing by yellow. Yellow's trying to hit light blue second base. I'm looking to drop mines and I'd end up dropping mines on the bunker. But speaking of which, Red has his ice going down. I'm going to go ahead and use my ODST drop and we whiffed completely. We couldn't get the leader, which is unfortunate. But we're going to go ahead and try and take out the base nevertheless to stop that expansion from happening. And now we're going to go ahead and make double air pad and go with infantry upgrades. And we're going to start falling back a little bit. But it does look like Light Blue is now going to lose his expansion base as well. So it's not really looking good for my team as a whole. And Blue is trying to do some pressure with some Banshee. He's got a good vortex on that advanced generator to take some of those units out. And I am trying to keep this engagement going against Red. But it's looking a little bit more difficult as time continues to pass by. So here we go. We're going to look for another engagement. He's getting himself a second base. Sniper is going to take out their snipers, which is really good. But now we're going to see if we can try to take out Leader. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. And we want to focus down on the base. But now look. Double Siege is coming down with the infantry hero. I mean with the hero by Serena. And we're going to end up losing all our infantry. So I decided to self-destruct that and make a third air pad. We're going to commit to all air folks. And we end up losing our entire army. And it looks like our hero is going to end up dying too from the siege. Which is very unfortunate. We tried to do a Spartan slam. We stunned with our Cyclops. But unfortunately the hero ends up going down by siege fire. Right at the very last second. So it is unfortunate. And that veteran 2 Cyclops is going to go down as well. So now I'm stuck in a very precarious situation where now I'm going to start making air, but I don't really have much that I can do about this at this moment. So we have our teammate Blue, if you look at the minimap, is starting to get attacked by the enemy. I'm going to rebuild my Spartan, but there's some red flags already happening right now. Blue's getting engaged at the top at orange and yellow has shown up at Blue's base, already taking out one of his bases as a whole. One of his mini slots, I mean, and so it's not really looking so good on that side. I'm trying to get my economy still going, and I want to build enough of an army. This was another reason why I chose to go air, so I can go ahead and send my reinforcements as fast as possible to my teammate by going air. And so, looking back at it, definitely could have mixed up my comp a little bit better than what I did, but it is what it is. And it also turns out I may have lost units, because I think Red ended up seeing the fact that I had air because of my rally. Great pull by the Decimus. The Decimus is going to see if they can go after the Spartan. Looks like he's unable to. And those snipers in the bunker are doing a very good job against that so far. And so now we're in a situation where Red is starting to posture up on my right side with some Wolverines and their hero as well. I want to see if I can go ahead and get an engagement here with my Spartan. Sending my air units as well. We're going to try and hijack that Wolverine. And looks like we're going to start that process. And we're going to try and apply some pressure here. But... It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get that favorable engagement that I want, but I will stop the infantry from capturing that node, which is always a good sign. And so we're going to keep this engagement nevertheless going, and we're going to hope that we'll be able to actually get the amount of damage that we need or just something to help out our teammate. And here comes Orange, continuing stripping the remainder of Blue's base. Blue is not going to have anything left after this. We're going to go ahead and start sending our air units over. And it just looks like it's not looking too good. Decimus is going to come and try and do as much damage with his Wraith and with his leader. He does pull the leader in and does a great Y move to stun everybody else. So we're going to end up clearing that, which that's the good sign. But unfortunately, at what cost? There's just an auto extractor with just one HP left. And there's really nothing else left for blue as a whole. And so now I have no choice to go ahead and just keep my air over there. We're going to make some scouts in order to get some additional vision. But now we need to make the engagement that we can to try to make the most out of this situation. Smokescreen goes down to stun the bunker. 
but it turns out there's just snipers in the bunker, so we're going to be okay in that regard. And now I'm going to start giving my teammates some supply because they're going to need that supply. It's a good thing I went with an all supply base, but unfortunately, it's still a very tough spot that we're in nevertheless. And so we're going to put in another Cyclops drop to go ahead and deal with the anti-vehicles that we have going on. And now Red is starting to show up to try and deal with my base, but if you look... It looks like we made the right swap because the rates are going to go ahead and deal with those wolverines, which is always pretty nice. And I'm going to start making siege turrets to have more defensive posture, but we're going to see how that really turns out because I believe that's not actually going to be the correct move in that regard. But continuing to use my air to see what's happening over here, and there we go. Yellow actually has a second base, well, technically a third. And so we want to try and clear that out as fast as possible so then we can go ahead and head back to defending blue. Blue is at least in tech 3 which is very good. Or at least tech 2. And other than that it's not really looking too hot. So we're going to try and just head our air unit send them back to blue's base. Light blue is going to be chilling at my base to make sure that if anybody makes an engagement we'll be able to stop that from happening. And I'm still giving some supply over to blue in order to try and rebuild whatever he needs to which is going to take a lot of time to do and so big drop comes down by cutter lots of vet 2 and tanks and vehicles and so we're going to go ahead and try and counter this to the best of our ability we got nightingales in which we're going to drop down smokes one of the supply harvesters end up going down cleansing beam is going down by the enemy and because my army was right there, Yellow decides to run right back into the cleansing beam. And all of that is practically getting cleaned up for free, which is always a pretty nice thing. We're going to go ahead and get that second sensor tower, which that's going to look really good in that regards. I mean, siege turret. Well, actually, we self-destructed and put it on our second base. And we're just going to keep trying to defend. We swallowed a Mac, and that's going to hurt a little bit. But fortunately, there isn't really much army left here that's really a problem. So they couldn't really take advantage of that mech, and so that's always a plus. And speaking of which, there goes Orange dropping down an army right in front of us as we speak. Vortex Lightning is going down to help with the debuffs and the stuns. We do have our leader Spartan as well. We're going to try and hijack a Mantis and just try to take out the rest of the Wolverines that are in this army. And we're trying to do the best we can in that regards, and it looks like we are able to, but a bunker will eventually go down because I remember this like if it was yesterday. And it looks like I was wrong. Bunker hasn't even gone down. There it is. Okay. And then the Wolverines are still coming in with reinforcements. And all my Hornets are getting incredibly red. I need to go ahead and start retreating with them. I was able to take out that Bunker, which is really nice. But then a heal comes down, which is looking a little bit more problematic for us. So I'm trying to fall back with what's left of my Wolver Wolverines with my Hornets. And we're going to go ahead and try and just drop down mines in order to go ahead and stop that from happening and any other push that's trying to happen. But really the mines did really nothing. Great better move would just be to get a heal there. But unfortunately that didn't really happen. So live and learn. But we have, our now, uh, we have ourselves now a jackrabbit upgraded to get that extra vision that we need so we can have those siege turrets end up starting their process of doing additional damage and work. And... Ping on the map, saw a bunch of yellow infantry showing up and they're going to end up coming to that bridge. Cleansing beam ends up coming down, which is looking pretty good, but the split by yellow is even better. And so unfortunately, we weren't able to stop yellow from just continuing its push. Didn't really lose much. They have combat mechanics, which is pretty good. And so my Spartan Slam comes down to stun a couple of infantry, which is always pretty nice. And then their Spartan Slam comes down. My ODST drops are going to come down to deal additional stuns. And then their ODST drop ends up coming down as well. And now we're just going for a full retreat behind the shield generator. Because honestly, we have no choice at this point. So now we're just trying to hold this spot to the best of our ability. But this is just not looking good because red is over here as well. But if you look at the minimap, light blue is trying to make that engagement on red at the bottom. Which is looking pretty good. But now yellow is starting to shift over and go after light blue's main base. It's only base that's associated with it. So I'm going to come in and try and help Blue escape if possible because there's just so much ice going on right now. Lotus Mines is back up. We're going to go ahead and try and put that down again. You're able to put down two mines, which is pretty good, but they don't end up exploding. But the Siege Turrets are actually going to start helping out against the fight that's happening at Blue, Light Blue's main base, which is pretty good. We're going to get that reinforcement upgrade. 
And now we're going to go ahead and drop a smoke screen to stop any additional units from firing, which is always pretty nice. But we're kind of still stuck in a pretty tough spot here as a whole. Because Cutter is just all over the place. we got to try and get rid of the remainder of the infantry units that we're trying to go ahead and do. And now Red has shown up at Blue's base, but fortunately it's just Hornets with Wolverines, but he is starting the siege there, which that part is not good whatsoever. Getting turrets on my main base and sending some supply over to my teammate, but getting that barracks so I can go ahead and get those upgrades going. And now Orange ends up calling a transport all the way to our main base for Light Blue. And so now we're gonna try and get a good engagement. I'm losing units left and right here. Decimus is trying to do good. Got a great stun from a hijack. But unfortunately, things are still not really looking prosperous for us whatsoever. And now all of a sudden, we're in, stuck in a situation where I've lost a lot of my units. We're trying to rebuild to the best of our ability. But things are getting a little bit more rough. Heal goes down as well as a bunker, which makes things a little bit more harder to clean up. But great Y move by Decimus. Ends up stunning everything all together. And it does look like this is going to be a hold here, which... That is a plus. So we're clearing out the rest of orange units. Things are looking pretty good. And all of a sudden, close air support was being called on my second base. Now my second base is starting to fall apart. We already lost all our siege turrets, which is unfortunate on our second base. And now I made some sensor towers in order to help distract the close air support so I don't lose any more of those supply pads because they're all getting pretty red. And now I'm just going to go ahead and send my infantry, I mean my air over to try and make this engagement. Which once again is not really the most favorable engagement as a whole. But we have no choice for that matter. And so now we're also going to call in our drop or cutter to help clear out the remainder of this infantry. But pretty much the damage is done. Yellow Spartan has shown up, goes in for the hijack, misses. And so I am going to go ahead and try and focus this Spartan down in order to get rid of it. And unfortunately here, I end up miss micro ring and that Spartan is going to get away with the remainder of their army. But the base still lives nevertheless, so that is a plus at least. But things are just not looking good for us. We're stuck in this infantry at this all air tech. We're not even at tech three yet. And we don't even have like much of an economy anymore just in regards to the fact that we lost about three upgraded supply pads but we're still going to try to make the most of it and now orange and yellow are getting ready for another attack on dark blue and the rates are there to help that out and i see that there is some siege already set up by red so i'm going to go ahead and try and see if i can get a good engagement over here drop the cyclops on that Kodiak so we can go ahead and start doing some damage but that favorable all units ends up changing things up which is pretty unfortunate but we're gonna at least take out the leader which is always pretty good local units got that Cyclops away unfortunately so that ends up becoming a problem as well and you know I give props to yellow yellow just non-stop just keeps making units and just sending them over which is quite something honestly we end up killing that base which is pretty good but then all of a sudden you got yourself a big drop by Orin at least the Scarab has now shown up by Dark Blue, which is always pretty nice. We're going to have Vortex Lightning come down, and I think a Cleansing is coming down as we speak. Nope, just Vortex, double Vortex. But that looks very good because it was right within that Scarab's beam, and it did a lot of splash damage, and we were able to take a lot of units out because of that. So we reset Orange, and so after all of this, we're finally in a situation where we can at least start thinking about counterattacking, and that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Dark Blue is going to start heading up and I'm going to start reinforcing with my army as well to see if they want to go ahead and go with some sort of push. But a great Mac ends up coming down, which is quite unfortunate. Trying to get my base set up for defensive measures. And here you go. Yellow's already showing up with some flame flamethrowers and some infantry as well. And this is just going to be some nonstop pressure. So I need to fall back to my base. You're trying to target down my main base, but I think I'm going to be relatively fine. We do have a siege turret that is being used in my main base, which is pretty good. And we were able to use a smoke screen to go ahead and help deal and alleviate some of the pressure that's associated with it right there. But he's going after my watchtower, trying to upgrade my turret as well if possible. But I'm going to start losing my economy once again for the second base. And so I'm just stuck in a pretty tough spot. Cleansing Beam does go down to help deal and give some relief with some of this infantry that's showing up here. But unfortunately, 
not all of it is still being taken care of and I don't really have a proper response associated with this because of the fact that there's so many infantry units and another carpet bomb comes down by Cutter which is doing a lot of damage on my base. It's practically being stripped for everything that it has. And so finally reinforcements have arrived, light blue has arrived, but now we're stuck in a situation where red and orange are posturing up on blue's base and even though we're going to be able to clear this out it did come with big consequences we ended up losing a lot of units so now i'm thinking about going ahead and trying to crash on this situation over here between orange and red but can't even do that either their army is just too big as a whole i need to rebuild my economy as well and so Orange is now looking to go ahead and try and do an engagement over here. Cyclops drop does come down. Cleansing beam is going down. Horrible time for a notification to show up. And now we're just going to try and clear out as much units as we can. There are some Kodiaks, but we're going to go ahead and try and focus that down with the units that we have available to us. And it does look like we're going to clear up everything that Orange has, which is relatively good. But the damage was done by Yellow. And Red is still looking for another opportunity to engage. And speaking of which, Red hasn't really found that opportunity much yet. But there you go. Going after Light Blue's expansion base. And because of that, they're going to be able to take out that base. Even though we will go after Red to try and wipe out the remainder of the reinforcements. Which is always going to be pretty nice. But Ice Barrage is coming down. Leader is getting pulled. And now we're just looking to see if we can just clear out what's left over here. And we will be able to, but unfortunately, Light Blue's base ended up getting destroyed once again. So things aren't really looking too good for us. We do have a factory that is being used in order to get those upgrades for those vehicles because I have those drops. But all in all, we're in a pretty tough spot as a team. Still Blue is on one base. Light Blue is trying to get a second base. And my base has been able to recover here and there, which is good in that regards. And so I have been able to keep an army going. But things have not really been pretty optimistic for us as a whole. But we're going to see if we can try and turn this around. Because now we're at Tech 3, which is now we're time for us to try and use the comeback mechanic of Vultures. The yellow is already showing up once again with an army full of sanctioned snipers and a condor as well. Condor's going down. We're going to drop a heal to try and heal our units to the best of our ability. Spartan is going to be used for the hijack. And we are able to push them back just a little bit. We want to try and push a little bit forward, but I don't think I'll be able to. And so we're going to start falling back to our base as a whole until we find another opportunity. But things aren't looking too hot. Got two damaged turrets. One of them is not even upgraded yet. And so we're stuck in this weird situation now. And now... Orange is back of trying to deal pressure with the enemy on blue and keep them back to one base. Lots of Kodiaks trying to save up for enough supply to call in close air support because we're going to need that. It's going to get called so we can deal with the con Kodiaks in the back. But now we have to head over to my main base because my main base is about to be under attack. So we're trying to fall back to my base to go ahead and deal with red and yellow and red is showing up at the perfect spot in order to help cause distractions and he has siege going on as well sanction snipers is just doing a magnificent job against my infantry there that's on the ground tur is being called to slow my work down slow my units down even more and so things are just not looking good we're falling apart pretty fast but Dark Blue is trying to show up to give some assistance as well. Cleansing Beam is going down. Will we be able to kill the Condor? We'll find out. And Yellow is still bringing in the remainder of the reinforcements. And it does look like we will eventually end up bringing down the Condor. We don't know yet. But we are getting to that point where I'm going to get ready to say my goodbyes. Because part two for this will come at another day. Hopefully the next day, you know, I get everything together. And so... With this being said, there's that condor going down. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this new format. I am still learning and getting better at this. If you really do like it, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know how you feel about this format. And with that being said, have yourself a good one. Have yourself a splendid one. Until next time, trust me, this second half gets a little bit more crazy. It's been nonstop. G out.